My name is Lawrence Gonzi. I was Prime Minister of Malta uh, between the period 2004 till 2013. When I retired from politics, I am now active in international politics and in my profession as a lawyer. What should be done to achieve the 1.5 degrees Celsius climate global? A lot. <laughs> and uh, not enough has been done so far. But if you want my honest opinion as a person from politics, with a background of politics, we need to get all our politicians uh, responsible for what they say and then to act on what they say. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to send a message to all the younger generation, to all the young people. You know, it is good that the young people pr protest and, and, and take active action against governments and politicians, but it is important that young people also participate in politics in order to be in, around the table when decisions are being taken. Uh, if there is this commitment, then perhaps we can start to see things change in a quicker pace. What is the role of forums like the World Sustainable Development Forum for catalyzing actions for achieving the sustainable development goals? Oh, the role is very important. It brings people together. It brings experts uh, together with uh, civil society and together with different generations to what the situation is today, whether progress has been made, and where are those areas where we need to really focus our attention. Uh, events like the World Forum and the event that we have attended and we are attending now are precisely important because of this reason. We come together, we learn things, we get to know where we stand, and then we, we decide on what the next steps are going to be in order to uh, bring the change and in order to save our planet. You already mentioned about youth, but what should be the role of youth in achieving goals of climate ambition and climate action? They have a very important role to play at every level, every single level. If Greta Thunberg can start a, a wave of emotions and uh, 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 an enormous movement across the globe, that speaks for itself. Young people have the energy, enthusiasm, vision, and they are we say a cliche, uh, they are the future. But in reality, they are really the future. And they can, and they should be at the very front edge in, in order to put pressure for change to take place. So young people need to participate in politics. And if the older generations don't let them, then the young people need to shout louder and be more active, because eventually things will start to change for sure. How do you like Durango so far, and what a state like Durango can do? I like Durango because it is not a very large city. It is a, a city that reminds me of what is, what is genuine. Um, keep in mind that I come from a small island, uh, from a small country. The population is 400,000, nearly 500,000, which I understand is perhaps uh, similar to, to, to what exists in Durango. Uh, but I like, uh, I like the opportunities that one finds in Durango. What impressed me, however, the most important thing that impressed me, is the fact that Durango hosted this event. And that speaks volumes. The, Durango could have a, hosted an event, I don't know, about film, about movies, about this and about that. But they chose to host the World Forum for Sustainable Development. That is something that needs to be recognized uh, by everyone. What is the importance of your participation with the WSDF? I participated in the first conference that was, was held two years ago in Mexico as well. Um, and uh, I, 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 well, I am not an expert in, in, in the field. I am a politician. I was prime minister. I was responsible to make sure that uh, decisions that, that needed to be taken were taken after scientific uh, analysis of what uh, my participation at, at, at the uh, WFDF forum, like that of two years ago, is precisely to learn more where we are, to learn more about the challenges, but then to be able to transmit that message to uh, my, my country, to my people, what if I have the opportunity to do so. Of course, I tried also during this, this, this event, uh, I, I was invited to speak about the ocean, about the sea, uh, and about how important the ocean is for all of humanity. For an island country like mine, where we are surrounded with the sea and where our livelihood for thousands of years 
has depended on the sea. And it depends today even more than in the past. Because on my island, water is generated by changing seawater into drinking water. And if the seawater becomes polluted, we will have a big problem. We will have our economy that will collapse. And we will be living a very difficult life. So uh, my role in this conference was to speak about the importance of taking action with respect to our oceans, but also to share with others our experience. Thank <laughs> you.